Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. But first we have to erase our old chalk drawing and that's always the hardest thing to do. I'm giving you one last look at it. Of course, you can see the tutorial on how I did this. That link is down in the description box below. So I'm going to use a wet rag in order to erase the drawing. You could use just a regular eraser, but I don't wanna create so much dust. Also, I'm using chalk pastels and they are a little bit harder to remove from a chalkboard versus regular chalks. And so using a wet cloth is going to be a lot easier. It's going to take a couple of passes. You can see that's really dirty. I got a couple other ones in order to give it a nice, good, clean finish. All right, so all the kids did help out with this. It was really sad to see that last one go, but it was up for a year, so it was high time to erase it and put a new one up. I did paint our chalkboard with some chalkboard paint. I have a tutorial on how I did that. And so it does leave my chalkboard with some paint brush strokes that you can kind of see. And at the end, you'll be able to see a closer look at that. And it's okay for the chalkboard. I like that it allows me to have a more vibrant, rich look with my chalks now because it allows the chalks to actually stick to my chalkboard versus in the past, it didn't stick very well. So you just saw my first attempt and uh, it was tough. <laughs> so uh, it didn't go so well. So now I'm looking at a couple of books. I did look online for these uh, images. I am trying to make the Hagia Sophia, uh, it's a mosque in Turkey. So it wasn't going so well the first time. I was copying basically a photograph of this mosque. And so then I went to some of the books that I had on hand, seeing if maybe I can use the drawing instead and kind of questioning whether I actually wanna do this architectural feature or if I wanna just make up my own mosque in my head and just you know draw something different. I did wanna to stick to something that is historically accurate and uh, something that you can still visit today that has historical significance because this chalk drawing isn't just going to be for our Islamic main lesson block unit studies during the month of Ramadan, but I also want this to kind of stay with us for the remainder of the following year when we are doing our Middle Ages unit so that we can also add some Middle Ages castles in the background so that this mosque goes along with both the Middle Ages unit and the Silk Route unit, so I don't have to erase it right away. So that's why I wanted something that had some historical significance and was not something that I just made up. All right, so you can see that I'm having a really tough time with this. I am doing my outline with some white chalk and it's proving to be a little bit difficult. It shouldn't be that bad. And those actually look pretty good now that I look at it, but I was not happy with them. So for this final attempt, I'm just going to dive right into my chalk pastels. I'm using Sargent Art Square Chalk Pastels. I love these. I've used them for years. They have a beautiful, rich, vibrant color. They are a little bit harder to remove versus regular chalks, but I do really like the vibrancy, and so I do go to these more often than any other chalk. All right, so I decided that instead of doing an outline, I was just going to go just dive right into those chalks and see if that made it any better and it does make it better. Now in part I wonder whether it was just easier for me to visualize what I was doing by just using the colored chalk or if I was more invested in the whole project and not likely to erase it. So I'm not quite sure. Each of my attempts took about 10 minutes. I had five total attempts. That's nearly an hour with breaks in between where I really doubted whether I could do this. I was going online looking at all different kinds of images, sketches, paintings, drawings, just trying to find something that I could copy. I'm not an artist. This is really difficult for me. It is a huge challenge. You can see how much I struggled to do this. However, I am really, really pleased with the final result. I think it looks pretty much what I envisioned. And that is a difficulty for me is that sometimes I'll have a vision of what I want, but it's really hard to get my hands to do what my brain is thinking. So by copying something that is in a similar medium as what I am working with tends to be the best bet for me. And in this case, I am copying an image that I found online. You can find more information about that artist down in the description box below. I've left a link to her artwork. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And it really helped me create this chalk drawing. 
I'm doing a number of shading techniques in order to give this drawing some dimension. There's basically only about two or three colors. And while it's really beautiful, I do prefer photographs and chalk drawings and things that have a lot more vibrant colors in them. So I'm really having to rely on a lot of shading and a little bit of yellow to make it look like the inside of the mosque is illuminated in order to give this a little bit more depth and interest. And so basically I just have the white, the gray, and the blue, and I'm using my black and my white extensively in order to give the domes that rounded shape and in order to give each of those windows a little bit of depth as well. And at the end, I will be adding a little bit of yellow in each of those openings so that it it looks more like it's a nighttime scene. And also by adding a crescent and some clouds, that's really going to help as well. Now I am going to add a crescent in a little while and I'm going to change that out every few days during the month of Ramadan so that the crescent in this drawing or rather whatever phase of the moon is in this drawing actually represents the phase of the moon in real life. Now my daughter drew that little tree off to the right and I think it looks adorable and so cute and during this whole process, she was with me and working on her own chalkboard and doing an amazing job. And so I actually incorporate her tree into the drawing and you'll be able to see that in a little bit. All right, so a few more highlights here and there and the mosque is pretty much done. I'm going to add a couple of clouds and some stars in the sky just so that it looks like the night sky. And the following day, my daughter continues to make a couple of more trees and then my son who is 11 is adding a little bit of grass to the bottom there and then I'm going to use that lantern as inspiration to draw these little lanterns hanging from the tree and then I'm going to just add a little bit of yellow in there to make them look like they're illuminated. All right, so the last thing I did was I added a calendar off to the side that had the different phases of the moon. That was a really simple, easy project to do. It took barely five minutes and a couple of lanterns at the top. The right side will eventually get erased in order to make room for our Middle Ages drawing, but I want the moss to stay up there for the remainder of our school year. If you want to see some of the other chalk drawing tutorials I have on my channel, I've left a playlist. You can tap on that at any time. I've also left a couple other playlists of some of the other main lesson blocks we've been doing in our homeschool recently. And don't forget, you can check out what we're doing on a daily basis by finding me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.